I'm here. I'm, well, Mike stepped out for a second, but I'm going to read this scripture. And then when he comes back, we're going to discuss this scripture. And there's a scripture that's been on my heart. It's about this devil. And, and this devil is in all of our households and, 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 and throughout America, throughout the world. And we try to identify this devil. Who is he? Why would he? Why, what, what is he doing? So we, I'm going to read this scripture and then we're going to come back and we're going to have a, a like a 10 minute discussion on it. Okay. So we start here in chapter 4, Matthew. Uh, we're going to start with the first verse and we're going to read through verse 11. It said, Then Jesus was led, guided by the Holy Spirit, into the wilderness, the desert, to be tempted, tested, and tried by the devil. Now, this is the Bible's talking now. This is an amplified version I'm reading. And he went without food for 40 days and 40 nights. And later, he was hungry. And the tempter, so we know who the devil is. He said, The tempter came and said to him, if you are the Son of God, command these stones to be made loaves of bread. Mm, interesting, okay? But look what, look what Jesus said. But he, Jesus replied, it's been written, man shall not live by bread alone, mm, upheld or sustained by bread alone, but by every word that comes forth from the mouth of God. And then the devil took him into the holy city and placed him on a pinnacle, a gable of the temple sanctuary and said unto him, if, if you are the son of God, look at that if again, if you are the son of God, throw yourself down. Now the devil has come back preaching. He said, for it is written, he will give his angels charge over you and they will bear you up on their hands, lest you strike your foot against a stone. And then Jesus said unto him, look what Jesus said. He said, on the other hand, it is written, also, you shall not tempt, test thoroughly, or try exceedingly the Lord your God. Jesus was saying to him, he's his God. Mm. And a lot of folks don't get that revelation out of that. Jesus is saying to him, you can't tempt your God. Okay. Again, the devil took him up on a very high mountain and showed him all the kingdoms of the world and the glory, the splendor, the magnificence, the preeminence, and the excellency of them. And he said unto him, this is what Satan really wants us to do. This is what the devil really wants us to do. He said, these things all taken together, I will give you. If you will prostrate yourself before me and do homage and worship me. Satan is asked, it's after worship. Then Jesus said unto him, be gone, Satan, or get behind me, Satan. For it has been written, you shall worship the Lord your God, and him alone shall you serve. Then the devil departed from him. And behold, the angels came and ministered to him. Now, we're going to discuss this scripture. We're going to discuss it for about 10 minutes. Because we, in the New Testament, now, he, he you know, we got to understand something before the cross and after the cross. I know God is the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. But we're going to have, we're going to dig into this scripture and then, because this falls in line with lust of the eyes, lust of the flesh, and the pride of life. So we'll be back, and when Mike get here, we're going to get back, we're going to discuss this for about 10 minutes and see what we can get out of it. Okay, see you back in there in a few minutes. Bye-bye.